it's with absolute pleasure that I welcome you all to the uh, Fiji Korea Business Forum 2022. This particular in-person setting today is a welcome change compared to the global standstill that we were becoming so accustomed to. On the same note, ladies and gentlemen, I applaud the efforts of the co-organizers, the Embassy of the Republic of uh, uh, Korea and the Ministry of Commerce, Trade, Tourism, Transport, Investment, Fiji, and Korea Trade Investment Promotion Agency. In setting this particular platform around a very apt theme, building a post-COVID-19 uh, or COVID-10 resilient economy and uh, creating new business opportunities. This forum has been organized, ladies and gentlemen, in joint collaboration between the Embassy of the Republic of Korea with the fervent support of Investment Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, the pandemic has triggered economic disruptions at an escalating pace. The erosion of human capital through lost work and through lost school hours, fragmentation of global trade and supply linkages, food security issues, and looming threats of economic recession. But despite the challenges, Fiji remains attractive to investors and witnesses a growing number of innovative businesses being established. Over the longer horizons to accelerate emergence from the adversities of the pandemic and joining hands to pool resources and expertise will be required. Ladies and gentlemen, the Republic of Korea has had a shared long-standing diplomatic and economic ties with Fiji since 1970. And in celebrating our golden anniversary last year, the Republic of Fiji and the Republic of Korea reinforced diplomatic relations and enjoyed stronger engagement than ever before. During our, during our time of need, the government of the Republic of Korea was actually a key partner in providing bilateral support in Fiji's fight against COVID-19. Please allow me to express my heartfelt gratitude to the Korean government and its representatives for the continuous, continuous support and camaraderie. Ladies and gentlemen, located strategically as a regional springboard in the Oceania Pacific, with strong shipping and air connectivity coupled with modern ICT infrastructure, Fiji is a logical choice for doing business. We are endowed with fertile land, forestry, minerals, fresh water, and aquatic reserves. And we're actually a cornucopia of natural resources. Currently, the number of Korean firms doing business in Fiji is actually growing rapidly. And major investment sectors of, of interest to the Korean investment uh, sector include the services sector, wholesale and retail, agriculture and forestry, education, and also real estate. In the past five years, Koreans have invested a total of $34,973,579 worth of projects in Fiji. Yet there are many untapped trade and investment opportunities. For instance, Fiji's budding industries, such as uh, ICT, manufacturing, BPO, green energy, health, maritime, and infrastructure development. The total trade between Fiji and Korea over the past five years is up to about $165 odd million dollars on average. However, in 2021, Fiji exported commodities worth approximately $28 million, of which $24 million was actually cane sugar only. There is potential, ladies and gentlemen, for more trade opportunities between the two economies, especially for the export of Fiji's niche products, such as our pearls and our noni products, 
manufactured food items under, under the uh, branding of Fijian made and Fijian grown and Fijian organic emblem, just to name a few. The Fijian government, ladies and gentlemen, has been progressively striving towards branding Fiji as an investment destination of choice. Therefore, many systems and processes have been reorganized, and many are actually in the pipeline. For instance, the Investment Act of 2021 and the Investment Fiji Act of 2022 have commenced from the 1st of August 2022. And these two legislations have actually brought around changes, such as the elimination of the requirement of a foreign investment registration certificate, as well as according to national treatment, according national treatment for foreign investors. The streamlined processes now only requires an investor to legally register their business with the registrar of companies, in line with the Companies Act 2015, and to register for a tax number. And more good news, the registration can be done completely online. More of this information, ladies and gentlemen, is actually available on our business portal, www.bizfiji.com. Moreover, in the, in the event that your business requires recruitment of expatriates for specialized skills and experience, the Skilled Professionals Evaluation Committee can actually provide a fast-track process for work permits within a time frame of 28 days. These transformations, ladies and gentlemen, have been recognized by international watchdogs and been commended. For instance, the World Bank Group's recent survey identified that by just removing the business license, businesses have saved at least $3.5 million in direct cost savings, which is in addition to the actual time saved. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, these reinvigorated approaches are user-friendly. The investment-related legislative changes have allowed our National Investment and Trade Promotion Agency, Investment Fiji, to shed their regulatory role and evolve towards becoming a complete IPA. That is that they have actually scaled up and now provided investor facilitation support, aftercare, and policy advocacy, and allowing investors to adjust to the, to the investment environment. The speakers today, ladies and gentlemen, will expound further on these revised procedures that have been put in place to make Fiji more conducive for investment and business. I encourage the audience to seek clarity during the sessions when needed for an impactful engagement. The forum is uh, purely an exercise to allow business to business and business to government dialogue for all of you. So with those few words, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all a productive Fiji Korea Business Forum 2022. Thank you, Honorable Minister, for your opening address. We would now like to call...